Hello and welcome to another tutorial by LearnPythonTutorial.com and today we're going to get you set up with a uh, text editor called Sublime Text. It's free to use. It's uh, very powerful. I've been using it for several years. Um, so we're going to need some si sort of software to edit our uh, code when we start writing Python code. So uh, it's about time we get set up with one. So uh, if you already have a text editor, feel free to use that to follow along in our tutorials. But uh, if you don't have one, Sublime Text is a good one to use. So we're going to set that up on the Mac OS X today. Um, and if you're a Windows user, we'll have a tutorial shortly for uh, installing it on Windows. So uh, let's go ahead and go to sublimetext.com. You can see it right up here. And we're going to click on the download button. Um, we're going to use Sublime Text 3, it's a beta version. Uh, it's going to be the newest one that they come out with shortly, so we'll go ahead and start using it now. So let's go ahead and when you click on the download button, you'll see a link right here that says Sublime Text 3. Go ahead and click on that. That'll bring you to Sublime Text 3, and we're going to download it for OS X. So uh, if you got 10.7 or later, you can go ahead and download that for OS X. So click on the link. and it will start downloading. If you got Google Chrome, you'll see it down here in the back, bottom left hand corner. Once it's done downloading, let's go ahead and open it up. So I'll bring up my finder, go to Downloads, Sublime Text, and double click on that. Now I already have it installed on my uh, computer here, so you're going to see a different window than what I have shortly. I'll point it out. Right now, you want to, when this window comes up, you want to slide sublime text into applications and this is a window you will not see if you don't already have it installed on your computer I'm going to say replace so now it's installing sublime text on your computer I'm go ahead and close this window out and once it's done downloading let's go to applications and open sublime text uh, when this window pops up you just say open all right, now we got Sublime Text opened. Um, I suggest you go down to your dock, down the bottom corner or bottom here, and right-click on um, your logo on the Sublime Text logo and put it in your dock. So keep it in your dock. Uh, we'll be using it a lot, so it'd be easier to bring it up that way. Um, other than that, if you got any questions, please leave a comment on YouTube or on our website. And make sure you subscribe. We'll be back with another tour shortly.